Power Glass box. We got the uh, box. It's, it's firm. We didn't account for this radio, the space behind it. And uh, so we have a slight issue. You can see I cracked the glass right here, or the resin right here, trying to push it in. I think I'm just going to uh, force it in, screw it down, and then re-resin over the top of it, accounting for the extra space needed. The speakers, they fit perfectly. Uh, don't hit your hands when you turn. Push this. Uh, it's kind of hard to do when you're holding a camera, but I can. It, I have to extend my fingers to touch the uh, speaker. So that's working out very well. Other side, you'll see that we got good amount of clearance. You can still pull the clutch. Of course, the clutch can be completely adjusted, but you can still pull the clutch. Of course, I don't think you would need to pull the clutch while you're at a full turn, but you can if you need to. And uh, yeah, it's going together nicely. Um, the amp uh, we reviewed earlier is going to be going in the box. We were watching our power consumption, and uh, I think the most we pulled out of a 2 ohm mono load at probably about halfway up was 3 amps. So hopefully with that and these, this head unit right here, we're not drawing too much from the battery. We also are replacing all the uh, lights on the four-wheeler with LED to reduce our power consumption on the battery and that should be good.